Hello everyone, and today I have an ancient artwork I did back in 2016. Ooh, going back to the past now. <laughs> so I did have a video and voiceover recorded and edited for this back in 2016. But if I did upload it, it would have been the first video I ever did with voiceover. And needless to say, since it was my first one, it was cringe, it was very bad, I was very scared. So I never uploaded it. Anyway, I'll talk about the drawing now. I am drawing Saber Wolf from Killer Instincts. No, I do not play the game, at least not the new one. I used to play the old ones back in the day, when I was a kiddo. I was shit, but at least I had fun. So I'm sketching our little Woofy out. I'm just gonna call it Woofy. Him. It. It's Woofy. I'm sketching Woofy out with a red lead pencil right now. Figure it'd be a nice way to just sketch it out so it won't interfere with my ballpoint pen. I almost never record the sketching process for myself because it's bad. It takes me forever to sketch anything out. This one went pretty well, mainly because I was just directly copying off a of reference. It was just a screenshot from the game, so... Honestly, really wasn't all that hard to sketch out since it's just right there. I don't even have to really think about it. So, decided I'd just record this too and stick it in the video. Why not? Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot to say about the sketching right now. Mm. Oh, oh boy, ballpoint pen. I have stuff to say, okay. So, I started with this pen, which is my favorite ballpoint pen to use. And as you can see, I switched out for a different one. The main reason why is because that pen I was using, it's called Papermate Profile Pen. It has really smooth ink which makes it really nice for ballpoint pen drawings, but I didn't really play well with the sketchbook paper I'm using right now. This paper's a little too thin. It doesn't have enough tooth in it for the ink in the profile pen to catch, so it would slip around a lot, and I wouldn't have as much control over it as I'd like. So I switched to a lower quality pen with uh, ink that isn't as smooth and it worked well. Worked a lot better with this paper. Now I have done pen drawings before with the profile pens on different paper. I've done it on higher quality drawing paper with a bit of tooth in it and that worked well. Just not the sketchbook paper so eh, shit happens I guess. This cheap ass pen I got from I don't know where worked well enough, so whatever. Now, there's a couple things I like about this, and a couple things I don't. Guess we'll just get into the stuff that I do like. Yeah, start with that first. So, I do like the face. The face, I almost said faced. Mm. Anyway, I do like Woofie's cute little puppy face. It's adorable. So I think I did a decent job on that. As you can see, it's starting to come together now. But there's other parts of it that we won't see just yet, where I'm just like, ee. <laughs> like after I get past the head into the rest and get into the rest of the body, it kind of all goes to shit. At least in mind, my ugh, my mind, it does. And for right now, head's doing all right. Getting that mouth in there. I'm pretty sure the teeth aren't really accurate to the picture I was using. I think they're spaced a little off. But who the hell cares? It's a drawing. It's not going to be perfect. I care, though. I think I care too much sometimes. I haven't quite gone out into the more furry bits yet. Oh, 
<sighs> you know, I had this problem in the first voiceover I did for this. The hell do I talk about? I'm just using a ballpoint pen. For real, what do I talk about? It's just the same thing over and over again. You know what? Maybe I can talk about how I used it? Yeah, I guess I'll do that. So with ballpoint pen, eh, the nature of it, you're not going to get very smooth surfaces or nice blended surfaces because, well, it's ballpoint. So when it comes to shading and getting details in there, you gotta rely heavily on hatch marks, cross hatching. So I pretty much do that for the entirety of this piece. It's all just built up layers and layers of cross hatching throughout this piece. Some places only have, <coughs> excuse me, some places only have a layer or two of cross hatching and some of them have multiple layers of cross hatching, especially when we get to the deeper shadows that are more towards the bottom of this drawing. Gets a little crazy there. I start to lose my mind because I have to keep adding and adding layers and layers and layers. I'm just like, it's never gonna end. <laughs> it never ends. It ends eventually, obviously. And that's probably one of the reasons why I chose Little Woofy here, because of his fur. Did you kind of have to do hatch marks in a way to get the fur to look like fur, so... Like I said before, kind of suits ballpoint pen drawings. Doing little werewolf woofy with all this fabulous fur. I don't know why past me made this video 12 minutes long. Granted, I could have re-edited the raw footage and made it shorter, but too lazy for that. Way too lazy for that. Oh. So, I guess I could start talking about the stuff I don't particularly care for. One of the things I don't care for is that the, the fur hanging from the chin, it's a little wonky. Didn't work out right. I should have made it a little bit longer. And there's also certain parts of the body where I'm just like, that don't make sense anatomically. I mean, I know it's a werewolf, but still, that looks strange. You can't tell so much now. Well, later on you might be able to tell. Or it could, it could just be me. Cause I, I'm very critical of my work. So I'm just like, that looks weird. That's not right. This looks dumb. For pretty much everything I make. So who knows. Maybe it's just me. Oh, by the way, you can see all the layers and layers of cross hatching I'm building up down there. <laughs> do that a lot. In this piece. Or I did that a lot, I should say. Past tense. I did this years ago. Past tense. Not present tense. So I did a lot of layers in this. Oh, here's a part that I really don't like, is how the head transition, the fur from the head transitions into the fur. I think that's his back. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I kind of, I don't know why it doesn't transition smoothly at all. I kind of have like this, you can kind of see it in here, there's like a line separating the head from the rest of the body and the fur doesn't really transition smoothly. A little weird. I don't know why I did that. Like, I, I, there was no reason for that. Whatever. Who knows what I was thinking two years ago. I have a feeling I wasn't thinking at all. Cause that don't look right. Oh look, more more layers and layers and layers and layers of cross hatching. How great. 
I start to just lose my mind at the very bottom, and I kind of just half-ass it. <laughs> I press a little harder than I should, I'm just like, trying to get it done. So when I do cross hatching in ballpoint pen, I'll go, I'll fill a row in going at one angle, and then I'll do another row going at the other angle, then I'll do another row going at a different angle, then I'll do another row going at another angle. It's great. That's how I do it. I'm not sure. That's probably standard. I guess. I suppose other people do it that way as well. I don't know, I really don't watch people make ballpoint pen drawings, so I don't know. But I started to make my rows of hatch marks a little bigger and bigger and bigger as I went on because I'm like, I want to get this done already. <laughs> So this is where I think it falls apart anatomically wise, like his arm, the rest of his body. To me, it doesn't seem to match up and I'm just like, something went wrong here. As to what, I don't know because I can't tell what's going on when I look at this drawing. It's just like, what? What did I do? I think I got confused when I was looking at the reference picture. A lot of it was kind of in shadow, so I couldn't really tell what was going on in certain areas. And when I was drawing it out, and I kind of just, I kind of just winged it. I was able to see the face perfectly fine, but everything else, not so much. I think I'm almost done with the ballpoint pen. Then I add a little extra... There we go. I add a little extra here with the red lead again. Figured I'd just add a few little details here and there. To spice it up. I felt like it. There we go. Woofy's all done. You can see with the ballpoint pen, especially at the bottom, it's not very smooth. One of the reasons being is that the ballpoint pen doesn't really photograph very well, so... Whatever. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. All that fun shit. See you around. Toodles.